Ooh, hey, this is Janetta. Coming back after you again. 81 and kick it. Hey, I got something to tell you. I want to address something with you. So before I do, I'm gonna do like the rest of them do. Will you hit that like button, subscribe, and I want you to, to subscribe, and I want you to tell me what you like and what you don't like. Let me know, but hit that like, like button, subscribe, and comment, and what's that other word? Share. Share, oh yes, you have to share it. You have to share it because, you know, information will not go anywhere if you don't share it. Hey, let's talk about some facts, okay? Well, we have uh, two ministers that have been having kind of a conflict, one demonizing the other one, saying that he's doing all kinds of things, that he's not a man of God, and all this kind of, all these kind of things. So I'm gonna share it with you today. And you, I'm, I want you, I'm gonna talk about it after it gets through, but I want you to think about it. We have all these issues in life to handle. If children, uh, not with families and homes, drug problems, people living on the street, those kind of things, all incarcerations are high. The children are shooting each other, guns and everything. School shooting, school dropouts. We have problems as a people, yes. But our leaders, our head honchos, they have found time to do this. Let me show you. T.D. Jakes was hanging out at a rapper and twerking party. What? That Puff Daddy helped. He's sitting right there, OTD Snakes. <laughs> Amen. They there twerking and everything. TD Snakes right there. <laughs> my Lord, my Lord. You see, they want the world to look at them as men of God, but they are really scared to be real men of God as a result of repercussion. That's right. They want to be loved by the sinner. They don't even care if they are not loved by God. No. They want to be accepted by the sinner. That's right. And they don't care if God don't accept them. That's right. And that is the reason why churches are going to hell is because you want to be so much like the sinner, you are the sinner. You are. Hey, the reason why I'm bringing you this is not because I have anything against T.D. Jakes or Geno Jennings. I'm just showing you that we have so many things we need to be doing. There are people out in the streets, in the United States, other countries, they're having problems in Jamaica, Belize, and Haiti, and all around the world. And we have so much talent and energy. These two men could be doing a world of powerful things and not worrying about the actions of each other. I don't think there's anything in the Bible that tells them to do this. But it's something that they could put two things together, rumors together. And you know, you can do anything with film, but why are we fighting each other? You know, one of the worst things that can happen is that we fight amongst each other. These are powerful men. They are big influencers. What they should be doing is influencing us to get together so we can be a powerful people against the forces of evil that have come against us. But I want you to listen to this. I want you just to listen to this and tell me I'm wrong. I want to be wrong. But this is not godliness. It's not a representation of Jesus. It's not. It's gossip. So listen, listen. A man defending himself. He has over 40,000 people. Throughout the world, he has even more that are following him. And you want to chop him down. And you are a brother. Okay, listen to it. I ain't come to convince you or nobody because I know who I am. I came to hear the master say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Humiliation. Humiliation. This man is touched. 
It has hurt his very core. He has exhausted himself. He has been a salvage, been a refuge to many, many people. I have an objection with what some of the things they do and say because they're not pinpointing it. They're not drawing us out and talking to us by liberty. The church is not talking enough about people in jail, shots on the street, young people getting killed. They're saying in the church that Jesus is alive and that he will save, but they're not bringing it to the streets. They're not bringing it to the streets where those young boys are getting shot. They're in the pulpit arguing and fussing and humiliating each other. I hope you look at this and think about it. We need to change what we are saying because there are people that are using strong forces that are using us to destroy each other with our words. Why do we do that? Okay, this is Janetta. I want you to think about it. Just think about it and let me know. If you don't agree, hey, I want to hear it. I want to hear it. Disagree with me. Okay, love you. See you later. Ooh. Hey.